Backhand and Gandalf, Carbon Dioxide and also Carpet Carpet kena vacuum selalu lah sebab kalau tak ni eh, bersayu <laughs> Okay And then uh, the other like uh, this is common sense right like, uh, Everyone always clean their bathroom and kitchen Yes, agree Yes, like that Okay. Uh, next, we will proceed on the method for the determination of policies and keep uh, smart and safe. Okay, ni uh, selepas kita dah tengok uh, banyak yang <laughs> Betul lah, politiknya dalam dalam rumah ni tu so, dia bahaya lah So, how to determine the politik in uh, indoor So, uh, we have found three methods to determine the politik So, firstly is by gas chromatography method uh, Firstly, we do grad sampling which Air uh, is taken at a specific time and specific uh, location, and and then we analyze it. For analysis, gas chromatography technique used to identify the accurate accuracy of the compound. So for second method, we do the passive or active air sampling, which is you can see at the figure. This this one. Uh, is the gas monitoring device so it can also detect the uh, <laughs> detect uh, the compound uh, in the uh, air so active sampling requires the use of the pumping device to actively pass air through an air sample container whereas passive sampling does not Passive sampling relies on the kinetic energy of the gas molecule and diffusion of the gases in an enclosed space onto a solvent medium. So for the last method we have found is Edinburgh sensor. So uh, this is uh, the uh, gas detection instrument uh, and it suitable for detecting a wide range of gases such as Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, uh, nitrous, and nitrous oxide, and it also offer uh, pressure and humidity compensated breakout, break which is uh, in range zero to ninety five percent accuracy. So I think uh, edible sensor is the best method to determine the air pollutant indoor, but uh, it's very expensive, right? <laughs> Okay, uh, I think we can proceed to the data analysis. Okay, I'm back to this part. Okay, um, are you going to explain about the data analysis uh, from the survey that we have, we have done? Uh, for the first, uh, we asked about uh, to the respondent to uh, do you familiar with uh, air pollution? So based on the respondent, uh, all the respondent had answered that they are familiar with the air pollution. So next, for the question, for the second question, we asked to the respondent about the overall air, po air quality in the city. From the data, uh, overall respondent that give their rate at scale 3 which is at a, at a moderate condition so next uh, we asked to the respondent about what the main causes of the air pollution so based on the data that the main causes that most respondents choose are from the motor vehicles waste burning and industrial sources uh, next the data that we have from questions that ask about the extent to which air pollution affects the respondent are uh, 64.6% of the respondent are stating that the air pollution affected them very much so we can say that the air pollution is a 
affected us very much. Next, based on this question, we ask about the ways that attacks 